A guide to interdental cleaning by Community Dental Services. Brushing alone cleans only 60% of tooth surfaces. To clean all your teeth, you need to also clean between the teeth to reach the other 40% of tooth surfaces that are missed when tooth brushing. Healthy gums are resistant to movement and don't bleed when brushed. What happens if we don't clean between our teeth? Plaque, a sticky film of bacteria, is constantly forming along our gum line. If we don't remove this with our toothbrush and by interdental cleaning, the gums get irritated. At this point, the gums may change colour, become puffy and may bleed when brushed. We call this gingivitis. With thorough cleaning, this stage of gum disease is reversible. If the plaque continues to sit along the gum line, the gums will retract away from the tooth, forming a pocket. This pocket is a plaque trap and can make removing plaque and food debris very difficult. Eventually, the tooth supporting tissue and bone will also be lost and the teeth can become mobile and fall out. This irreversible stage of gum disease is periodontitis. Plaque left on the teeth for too long will turn hard. We call this calculus or tartar. You will not be able to remove this at home and a dentist or hygienist will need to do this for you. Keep your gums and teeth healthy by brushing your teeth twice a day with a fluoride toothpaste. Change your toothbrush every three months or before if the bristles have splayed and following any illness. Limit frequency and quantity of sugar and keep sugary foods and drinks to meal times only. Clean between your teeth daily. Following toothbrushing, spit out the excess toothpaste and do not rinse with water or mouthwash. Tilt your toothbrush bristles at a 45 degree angle towards the gum line and brush in a gentle, circular scrubbing motion. You can clean between your teeth using floss or interdental brushes and picks. There are other methods on the market, however, the physical removal of plaque using one of these forms will be most effective. Floss. Floss comes in multiple forms. The two main forms are floss harps and string floss. Both use the same technique, although you may find the harps to be less fiddly. Gently push the floss between the teeth. Use a sweeping motion in a C shape around each tooth surface to remove any plaque and debris. Ensure you clean the floss between each gap so that you do not transfer bacteria from one gap to another. If you are using a piece of floss string, you can move to a new area of the floss instead. If the floss becomes frayed, replace it for a new piece. Floss is single use. Interdental brushes. Interdental brushes come in multiple colours. The different colours relate to different sizes. You will need to find the right size or sizes for you. If you struggle, you can ask your dentist or hygienist. You may need to use multiple colours for different gaps. The brush should be snug in the gap, but not painful. If painful, size down. Gently push the brush through the gap, massaging the gum to remove plaque and debris. Clean the brush under running water between each interdental space. For posterior teeth, you may find it helpful to bend the brush at a 45 degree angle. You can also get brushes with longer handles or use the lid to extend the handle. You can reuse your brush up to one week. If the metal has bent, swap it for a new one. What to do if your gums are bleeding? If your gums are bleeding, it is a sign they need more attention. Do not stop cleaning in that area. When to see your dentist. See your dentist if you are in pain. Despite thorough cleaning for at least two weeks, your gums are continuing to bleed. If your teeth have become loose. If you are concerned about the health of your gums and teeth. Ensure you see your dentist regularly for a checkup as they may spot early signs of gum disease that you are not yet aware of. See your dentist as often as they recommend. 
your dentist might prescribe a mouth rinse for gum disease. In this instance, follow their instructions for use. Pregnancy and gum disease. The change in hormonal levels during pregnancy can also impact the health of your gums. For more information about pregnancy and oral health, please watch our pregnancy webinar by scanning the QR code on the screen or alternatively, follow the link in the description box below. Thank you. For more information, head to www.communitydentalservices.co.uk